in late summer of 2022, I was privileged to have a solo show called Old Wheels at Old Main Gallery in Bozeman, Montana. Why Old Wheels? Because Americans have always been mobile, taking to the road for work, play, or adventure. This show is a celebration of vintage cars, trucks, and the stations that support them. How did I find old wheels to paint? Many of the cars and trucks that inspired me were simply sitting by the side of the road, like this old Chevy that people passed every day without a second look. I found this classic Hudson Hornet parked on the main street of a western ghost town. And a great old orange truck was parked and all but forgotten beside a motel. Sometimes my husband and I were lucky enough to get access to private collections. Here, for example, a man had spent years assembling vintage cars and trucks, as well as all sorts of machinery, including some used in the construction of the Panama Canal. The collection was being broken up and sold off, and we wanted to capture as many of these old wheels as we could. He said we could explore as long as we liked, which meant as long as we could tolerate the blazing sun and hot wind and kept a sharp eye out for rattlesnakes. With opportunities like this, my husband and I work as a team, taking dozens, maybe hundreds of photographs that I can sort through and use as reference material back in the quiet of my studio. Vintage gas pumps are collector's items, and it's rare to find pumps still intact and in place. We found this old station on the plains just south of the Canadian border. In the southwest, we met a man who collects vintage gas pumps and more. His old stuff covers decades and acres. He's primarily a resource for the movie industry when they want to dress a set for a period film. And he gave us a full day to explore his collection. My paintings are done in the studio because each one takes days sometimes weeks. Notice that I stand when I paint and the easel is usually vertical. That's because I use watercolor much like other painters use oil. My style is richly detailed and depends on layers of pure color, tools that create texture, and tiny brushes. Here for example you can see the detailed work that went into creating the grill for an old Chevrolet. I especially enjoy painting the old patina of metal and the rough texture of rust. My paintings have a texture so rich you can, well, feel it. So let's meet the old wheels in this show. The signature painting for this exhibit was that old truck by the side of the road. In my studio, I transformed it into a Ford to be reckoned with. I think of my work as painting portraits, not just what an old truck looks like, but a bit of its story and character. The orange truck that was all but forgotten became a painting I called Attitude. Wise Old Eyes was special for me because my own father had an early Ford like this one and took me for drives when I was still too little to see over the dashboard. These old cars and trucks bring back memories for so many people. I'd never painted anything like these vintage gas pumps. It was especially challenging to paint the glass, opaque and sometimes slightly colored, but also clear enough to show the apparatus inside and the foliage behind, as well as the reflecting sunlight.
Sometimes just a part of a car will especially interest me. Here, for example, I love the colorful patina on this worn old license plate. And who can resist an eye? Always a window into the soul. I hope Old Wheels gives you a new way to look at the legacy of our driving past.